20 organizational hacks that you will love. Did you know that you can organize your jewelry with some press and seal? We're gonna take a piece of this press and seal, lay it flat on the counter. I've got a couple of necklaces. I'm going to place them right next to each other and make sure that they are long and straight. Once I have a couple of my necklaces laid out, I'm going to fold the press and seal over the top of these necklaces. Then I'm going to press around them to seal them in place. Now my necklaces will not get tangled when I need to store them. I can shake this around and it won't fall out. This organizational hack is especially great if you are traveling with jewelry. Whenever I travel, my necklaces tend to get all tangled up. So if you're looking for a surefire way to store your jewelry individually, give this hack a try. My Tupperware drawer is constantly needing to be reorganized. It just is a mess. Everything gets stacked on top of each other. We've got lids everywhere. We've got different size bowls. I can barely shut the drawer. So it's time to organize our Tupperware drawer and we are going to do it with a tension rod. Tension rods are so versatile when it comes to organization. So this is going to be used to help organize my drawer. What I'm going to do is empty out my drawer first of all, then I'm gonna take my tension rod and I'm going to size it to the size that will fit inside of my drawer. I'm gonna place it in the front third, I guess the front like quarter of my drawer. I'm gonna make sure that it's pressed in there really tightly. And then I'm going to take my lids and I'm going to place them in between the front of the cabinet and my tension rod. Organizing my lids like that created so much space. Every piece of Tupperware that I took out at the beginning, I am putting back in at the end. And look at how much extra space I have. It's amazing. It's so simple to put everything away. We will definitely be able to keep up putting our lids in this area. And I know by doing that, this drawer will remain organized. Speaking of lids, I got a variety of silicone stretch lids from Timu. These lids are amazing because if you happen to lose a lid or if you have a, a bowl or a small plate of food that you want to cover with saran wrap or with aluminum foil, but you don't have any or you just don't want to use that, these stretch lids are amazing because you can put it over the top. It doesn't need to fit perfectly because it's stretchy. So it can go over a variety of different sizes and shape bowls. If you're looking for a very convenient way to store your food, these silicone lids are fantastic. I love using mesh storage organizers for my drawers to store my clothes, but we're going to use it in a different way today. I'm going to use this mesh organizer for my dishcloths and my dish towels. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rags and I'm going to fold them into thirds and then I'm going to roll them up. Once they were rolled, I placed them in this mesh organizer. I can fit two of these kitchen rags in each of the slots. I fit 20 rags in this particular storage organizer, which is amazing. It doesn't look like there's 20 of them in there because of how beautiful and organized it looks. Now I'm gonna take another organizer and this is going to be used for my dish towels. I'm gonna to fold them again and roll them up. The benefit of rolling these towels and washcloths is that it creates more space. The problem with that is that they can come unrolled. So by putting them in these organizers, it's gonna hold them in place and keep them from unraveling. Now I've got my washcloths and my kitchen towels all organized. It's time to put them back into this drawer. This is so much better than it was originally. Look at how much space I have left to store anything else I want. My rags and my dishcloths are where they need to be. This is a super simple idea. It's a great storage hack. Now let's move on to my closet. This is a space that I constantly need to keep organized. We're gonna start off with my skirts. Do your skirts ever end up looking like this? <laughs> Where you stack them on top of a hanger and you stack them on top of each other and it just ends up to look like a mess. These steel pant racks are going to be perfect for pants, of course, but we're gonna use them for my skirts. So what I did was I took my skirts and I folded them and then I just draped them over the steel rods. Each one of these holds five skirts. 
Once I had all of my skirts on my stainless steel rod, I took them back to my closet. And there are two ways that you can hang these up. You can hang them vertically or horizontally. If you have enough space, you can hang them straight across. But in order to create more space, which is what we're always trying to do, you can drop them down by simply taking one of the sides off. Now I can push all of my skirts to one side. Now I have doubled my storage space. I actually wish I would have gotten more of these. I only got a couple, but next time I will definitely get more because I had extra skirts that I wanted to hang up, but it's okay, I had enough space and so I just hung those right next to it. But now everything's organized. I can see each of my skirts and nothing is thrown on top of each other and it looks clean and cohesive. The majority of the organizational pieces that I'm using today are from Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that has a huge variety of very competitively priced products in a whole bunch of different categories. They have organizations as you see. They've got kitchen, fashion, jewelry, home decor, pet supplies, and so much more. They have some quality products at ultra affordable prices. I've already been showing you the pictures and the prices of the pieces that we are using up to this point. I'll continue to do that so you can see exactly how much everything costs. It's so incredibly affordable. Timu is actually having a huge spring sale right now. You can get things for up to 90% off. There's free shipping. There is free returns up to 90 days. They accept all credit cards, debit cards, all kinds of stuff like that. And they even have some pay later programs. And what's going to make it even more affordable is that I have a 30% off coupon for you to use on their website. I will put the links to all the products that I'm using and the coupon code in my description box. So you can click on those links and see exactly what products I used and take advantage of that coupon code. Another area that can get disorganized really quickly is my earrings. One hack that I love to use is using this Dollar Tree storage wire rack. This is perfect for hanging up your jewelry that have the hooks on it or your hoops. So what I've done was I just took my earrings and I placed them right over the wire slots. This is a cheap, easy way to organize all of your dangly earrings. And then you can also use the top to store something like sunglasses. So this does double duty. If you want to step up your jewelry game just a little bit more than using the Dollar Tree wire rack, you can use this multifunctional jewelry organizer. This thing is so cool. It bends in a whole bunch of different ways. What I'm going to do with my organizer is I'm going to take my earrings and I'm going to place them on the little slots that are on this jewelry organizer. I like to color coordinate my earrings. So I have a row for gold earrings, silver earrings, have my colored earrings on the other side. You can put your hoops in one area. This thing is so cool. One thing I love about this is that you can condense it when you're done. So you just fold it back together. If you have a small space in your closet or in your bathroom where you're trying to store your jewelry, this is a perfect solution for that. My final jewelry hack is to use this Dollar Tree wall mounted wire rack. These are perfect for taking up space that is unusable. For instance, I have this blank wall that's just wasted space. So what I did was I took two of these wall mounted wire organizers and I overlapped them in the center and I just screwed them to the wall. Now I can hang my long necklaces in this area. They won't get tangled up. You can hang them individually, or you can even put a couple of necklaces on each of the hooks. This is a super cheap way to organize your stuff. $1.25 a piece, $2.50 to create this organizer on my back wall, which took advantage of unusable space. Another way that I've used this wall mounted wire organizer is in my kitchen. I have a cabinet that is underneath my stove top and on the side walls is just vacant space. Again, unusable space. So what I did was I screwed these wall mounted wire racks into each of the sides and now I can put my awkward kitchen utensils on them like the potato masher or some big ladles, 
some large kitchen items that when you go to open the drawers, these are the items that always jam up your drawers. <laughs> well, now they don't jam up the drawers anymore. All I do is I put them on these hooks down below. It's a great way to store them. I can see exactly which utensil I need and it keeps them up and out of the way. On a regular basis, I wear t-shirts and stretchy pants. <laughs> It's true. I love feeling comfortable. I don't dress up every single day. For the most part, I just try and live comfortably. So I have a whole bunch of t-shirts and yoga pants that need to be organized. I'm going to use some more of these mesh organizers to keep my shirts and pants where they need to be. So I'm going to take my t-shirts. I'm going to fold them over and then roll them up. Again, rolling them is a great way to save space. And then I put them vertically in my mesh organizers. I can fit four t-shirts per slot. I was able to fit so many t-shirts in this mesh organizer. I fit all of them in there and I even had some extra space in the back to put in some knit dresses. So I folded those up, rolled them and put them in the back few slots. Next, I'm going to take my yoga pants. I'm going to fold them in half and roll them up and put them in these slots as well. I could fit a few of these in each of the slots. I filled up this entire thing with all of my pants. And so at the end, I thought I can put in some swimming suits as well. So I folded those up and put some swimming suits in the back few slots. You guys, I can't even tell you how fantastic these are. I can open my drawers now with no problem. I have so much extra space, I can't believe how well organized these are. As you guys know, I love decorating for different holidays and seasons and one way I love to do it is with ribbon. So I have a whole lot of ribbon that I always am trying to keep organized. So once again, our beautiful tension rod is going to come into play. We're going to use this to organize our ribbon. So all I did was I took this tension rod and I pushed it through the center of each of the rolls of ribbon. You can put different sizes, different colors, you can organize them differently on your tension rod. You could put this in a closet, you could put it in a cabinet, you could put it in a drawer. There's so many places where you could put this. All you need to do is size it to the size you need so that when you put it into the area, it's nice and snug. And now you have a fantastic way to organize your ribbon. You can see everything. You can roll the ribbon off that you need, cut it, and you don't even have to pull it off the rod. Another area in my closet that needs organization is my shirts. Mine are all jammed together and there is no breathing room whatsoever. I'm going to take my shirts and I'm going to place them on these storage saving hangers. Just like my skirts, there are two ways that you can hang these. You can hang them vertically or horizontally. So if you have extra space, go ahead and store it straight across. If you want to save some space, just drop it down. It's amazing how much space you can save by using these organizers. I was able to fit so many shirts on these and still have plenty of leftover space for the rest of my shirts. You can also locate the shirt that you need easily, color coordinate it. This is a great space saving feature. If you're looking to gain some more space back in your closet, these space saving clothes hangers are perfect for that. My boys have a lot of hats and we are always looking to find a way to hang them up or organize them better than just using a hook. What we're going to do is we're going to take some shower curtain rings that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put these shower rings on the top of a hanger. Then I'm going to take my hats and I'm going to put them through these shower curtain rings. You can fit a whole bunch of hats on one hanger. Now you can see which hat you need. You can store them easily and they're not going to get smushed. Plus they're up and out of the way hanging nicely in a closet. My purses are on a shelf in my closet. The problem with that is that when I'm in a hurry, I don't know exactly which one I want. And when I put them back, I put them back on top of each other so they can get smushed. 
Well, I have a purse organizer that is going to fix all of those problems. This purse organizer has some clear pockets on it that you can fit large purses in, you can fit small purses in, you can put two smaller purses into one of these slots. This is a fantastic way to organize all my purses. And when I'm in a hurry to either put them away or get them out, this is going to be so convenient. The Dollar Tree has some fantastic baskets there. I found this long shallow one that we're going to use for storage. I'm going to take some of those extra shower curtain rings, the ones that we use to store our hats, and I'm going to put them on each corner of our basket. Now I can add some marshmallows and some chocolate chips inside of the shallow basket, and I'm going to hang it in my pantry on the wire shelves. All I need to do is take these shower curtain rings and put them around the wires, and our basket will hang beautifully. This is perfect to take advantage of that space between your shelves, the space you don't really use at the top. You can put some pasta in there, you could put some applesauce or snacks, granola bar, all kinds of things in these shallow baskets. You can easily take things in and out. And all you need for this storage hack is a basket and some shower curtain rings. Big bulky blankets, duvets, pillows, these things can take up a huge chunk of your closet storage space. What I'm gonna do to minimize that is I have a vacuum sealed bag. I placed two large duvets in this bag and then I sealed it shut. I removed the lid, I grabbed my vacuum and put it over the hole that's on the bag. I turned on my vacuum and it began to suck out all of the air from the vacuum bag. The bag got thinner and thinner as the air came out. It pressed my duvet covers into a pancake. Once it was completely deflated, I put the lid back on, and now I have a fantastic way to store my big bulky items. Look at how thin this is, starting out from our big chunky big duvets to where it is now, this is fantastic. I can store it under a bed, I can put it in a closet, I can put them in the attic too because it's sealed. Vacuum bags are a great way to store big bulky items. We have a ton of towels here in the house. It's because we have a big family and we also have a pool. So we have towels all over the place all of the time and I need to be able to store them. So what I'm gonna do is get this large storage bag and fill it with my towels. I was able to fit six towels in this storage bag. I love that it has this see-through spot right here so you can see exactly which color towels are in here, if they're pool towels, if they're bath towels, and also they have these handles on it. Look how cool those handles are. So you can pick them up, you can take the towels outside, you can leave them inside, and you don't just have to use these bags for towels. This is perfect for blankets, for big sweaters, for seasonal items like coats that you don't use all year long. And you don't have to guess what's inside because it has this clear window in the front. You're able to see exactly what's in this large storage bag. Taking advantage of the unused space underneath the bed is a great storage idea. I have these large bags that are thin and long. Now, of course, you can put clothes in these, you can put some shoes in this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wrapping paper in there. They have these dividers, so you can either pull them up and use them on top, or you can use them to divide this bag into individual slots. This is the perfect size for wrapping paper. Again, it's got clear parts on these bags, so you can get a sneak peek of what's inside without opening up the bag, which is very convenient. In my other bag, I'm going to put in my Cricut vinyl. I have a whole bunch of Cricut vinyl, but it's also a great storage solution for any other kind of crafting items that you may have. For scrapbook paper, for scissors, glue, paint, whatever, these storage bags are awesome for any kind of craft organization. Again, it's because you've got the see-through slots that are on the front, so you can see exactly what's inside and pull out what you want. 
we did so much organization today, you guys. Hopefully one of these 20 tips will work for you. Now, don't forget to head on over to Timu, take advantage of their already very affordable prices, and don't forget about that 30% off coupon that will make things even more affordable. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, then I would love to have you subscribe so I can share this with you. Thank you so much for watching.